And I was looking for one of these all season so badly, which is why when you just saw the footage of me underwater finding it, I'm like freaking out because I was screaming, hollering. Um, I'm really, really happy with this. All right, guys, so heading up river, and I've got my good friend Justin, and he's on YouTube at Kayak DIY. What's up, folks? How's it going? I'm really stoked to have him out today because- I'm running a mud motor. I've never done this before. He's loving the mud motor, and this is a fossil hunt machine. You guys know that. Well, what's awesome about Justin's channel is you can check it out because he's always uh, reviewing a lot of really awesome gear. Everything from kayaks to scuba diving equipment. And today we're trying out a new hookah system that may be able to help me get on some really rural areas in the future. I'm really excited about that. So check out his channel. You're going to like his stuff. And stay tuned today because we're going to hopefully use this gear to find some really awesome fossils. This here is a chunk of a Colombian mammoth jaw. It's a smaller piece, but there could be more down there, so I've really just begun to look. But this is already cool. That's a mammoth tooth. Now, of course, it's just a slither. They uh, belonged to uh, a big piece, and then they kind of break apart over time. But this is exciting because it means there could potentially be uh, some more down there. I really haven't looked too hard, so awesome. Let's go check it out. We're gonna get Justin in the water, see if he can help me scour this area and get anything else. Anything good? Oh man, dude, I might have a mammoth or something like that. I'm not as well versed <laughs> on the fossils as you are, so I'm gonna have you identify what the heck I found, but. I'm pretty sure this is his like first fossil trip out ever so <laughs> pretty sure it's something that's cool so this is just miscellaneous bone stuff that i found oh geez yeah so i got some really big bones but that's nothing so i don't know uh, come up i'll, over I'll here. set that over there i gotta come over this log yeah it's what you can't see underneath the water right now there's tons of logs in fact i also came across some creature i don't know i swam like right up to it it kind of looked like the tail of a small gator. I don't know, I'll be able to review it on footage, but it scared the crap out of me. Oh boy. <laughs> God, I hope this is actually what I think. I don't know, is that? Yeah. Woo! Has layers. That's a mammoth tooth, and man. it's very smooth like enamel on the outside. That's what I noticed was the feel. <laughs> so. First fossil trip ever and he gets a freaking mammoth tooth. Yeah. Let me see that. Yeah, so it's nice oh. and smooth on the outside. I have to clean it up a bit. That's cool. And um, I think I got, what was it, dugong? Yep. Yeah, it's a dugong rib bone. You can tell because it looks kind of that shape of rib. Ah! And I dropped it, but I got it. So, now dugong, that was a manatee that had like a, a whale style tail, right? Yep, that was a manatee, but the tail went uh, uh, side to side instead of up and down. Uh, what else I got? I just got other miscellaneous bone that I found. I, I like hit one big area and I found all that in one area. That's awesome. So, let's see. Oh, 
So, not bad for scouting a brand new area. And again, we were able to scout that really effectively with that new hookah system. So I'm really happy. I just got this. You saw me bring it up on the underwater shot. And this is actually a, a, a mammoth tooth. And it's hard to tell, but I, I think it might be a spit tooth where they break off and they spit them out over time, making this potentially a whole tooth. Uh, but it's also possible it's just a fragment. But either way, it's a, it's a big chunk of one. And that's, I love getting that kind of stuff. So I'm pretty happy so far. We're gonna do some more scouting with this new hookah system and see if we can get some new stuff. Let's see what I got. All right, that's my haul, or part of it. And this was, I thought this might be a mastodon tooth underwater, but looking at it, I think it's just a worn vertebra, but this is definitely mammoth skull. And you can tell because it's got a honeycomb shape to it. Mammoth skulls were so huge and so heavy that the inside were webbed Kind of like a honeycomb so their heads would stay up because of how massive they were so that's a cool sign to see and obviously justin got his mammoth tooth so we're definitely in a spot with a mammoth that died so that's a tiger shark and that was the first shark's tooth i found here so i was like okay cool there's shark's teeth and i was next to justin and we were side by side and i always get a little nervous when i'm next to someone i'm like always like oh i want to find the better thing and uh we're kind of scooting working up he's here i'm here he's here here i'm kind of catching up to him and then i just got lucky because i pulled a meg out Oh, look at that. That's a nice one too. And for the Peace River, um, that's a pretty decent size. And it's just got a couple chips on it, but it's not it's not a fro it's that's not broke, gorgeous. it's not a frag. And I'll actually pop I'll show you guys in a second. I'm gonna polish it up with a magic eraser and uh, show you how this guy's will shine, but that's awesome. And then this was really a cool a couple horse teeth as well. Horse teeth are common. And this is a uh, not as common and I'm I love these I love getting these that's a glyptodont scoot and that is a giant armadillo essentially these things were massive you could ride it if it still existed and this is a very well preserved scoot and it's just one of my favorite fossils to find and that was really close to the mag so that was my first bag I filled up uh, let's do my second bag I'll put this stuff over here There's a lot of bone down there. <laughs> All right, I'll go through this quick. So, vertebra, probably dolphin, or maybe small whale. This is a piece of poop, but it's fossilized, so it's called <laughs> <laughs> it's called corporalite. And I, I love finding poop. I'm telling you, um, you know, this stuff's cool. And uh, you know, it could have been to like a megalodon. That could be megalodon poop. Could be anything. It's hard to tell. Um, this piece of mastodon root it's very hard to tell what it is but this is teasing me because i want a mastodon tooth really bad and look at this that is a giant section of jaw and you see where the teeth would have been from an alligator and this is an ancient alligator this is could be could be millions at least tens of thousands of years old and i love finding gator stuff because they're still here and they're still around and it just shows that they've been around for a very long time Another piece of mammoth skull. This is actually part of the jaw, uh, the jaw part of the skull. And you can tell with these these uh, these ridges, this is where the tooth would have lied. That's cool. This is a uh, huge, and I wish it was whole. Uh, but right near the gator jaw, I found this. This is a gator 
uh, dermal scoot. These are underneath the gator's skin and they're actually bone. And literally gamer, gators have armor on them. So if you ever think you're gonna stab or scratch at a gator, they're not even gonna feel it because they have this super thick armor. Turtle shell, turtle bone, ooh. This is a whale tooth. So that was a cool find. The tips kind of cracked off of there, but um, it would have just been a little bit more from that. And that's, that's from an ancient whale. And then just a lot of miscellaneous bones. I, I pick everything up because I never know what it's going to be. But, uh, you know, there's, there's the hull. And then what Justin got. So we're doing good so far. We're going to scout a couple more spots out and see what we can get. from that dive and I got a bucket of bones that wasn't the best stuff this is I have uh, been doing really good with elephant material check this out this is a mastodon mandible this is a mastodon jaw unfortunately this piece didn't have any of the teeth but I was freaking out when I found it actually I mean there's a little uh, that would be a premolar or something that's that's up in the front uh, but the way you can tell it's mastodon is the it's just it's different sockets in the mammoth. So I started looking and I kept looking, and sure enough, I got one of the teeth. And I, I don't know yet if this fits into this piece of mandible, but it's definitely probably from the same species because it was really really close. And I was looking for one of these all season so badly, which is why when you just saw the footage of me underwater finding it, I'm like freaking out because I was screaming, hollering. Um, I'm really really happy with this and that wasn't even all that I got so I got this giant piece of mandible and it's like rock solid this one is much more mineralized than the last uh, mammoth mandible that I got so it could be older this is a piece of tusk and I mean you could just see how incredibly massive this tusk would be because this is only a section and it's only half of it and a dead giveaway that it's mastodon tusk is the cross hatching that you can see. So if you ever think you have a piece of tusk, you want to look to see if there's any of these cross hatching. It's a very distinctive pattern. So I thought I was like doing good and then I also picked this up and this is a giant sloth mandible. You can see the tooth. It's got one tooth in it, three sockets. Um, this is this is an incredible find. Last dive of the day because it's like actually almost sunset. <laughs> what'd, you, yeah. what'd you get, man? Okay. Oh. So, yeah, it's getting pretty dang dark. And I ended up like coming around some trees that were under the water. And I ended up getting. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Oh. That's a huge freaking Mako. <laughs> wow, and it's awesome. Yeah, dude. it's a great shape. So that's my first real tooth, I will say. I mean, I had some other ones in previous dives that were like much smaller, like, but that one there, it was sitting on the bottom. Woo! Wow. 
And that's just icing on the cake for today. Whew, yeah. Oh yeah. Got a mammoth tooth and a mako. <laughs> so. <laughs>